Do you want to know how you can lose weight in a guaranteed manner so that you don't waste your time trying diets that might work or might not work? Well, you've come to the right place. My name is Antranik and I make health and fitness videos all the time. So please subscribe now if you haven't already and let's get on with the show. The first concept you need to understand is very simple. The concept of calories in versus calories out. Your body burns a certain number of calories every day to live, to survive, to do all the processes it needs to do. This is dependent on your age, your weight, your height, your gender, your activity level, and there are calculators that will estimate how many calories you burn on average per day. And the food you eat has energy in the form of calories. So you're eating all day, or throughout the day and if you're eating less calories than your body needs then you're gonna lose weight if you're eating more calories than your body needs you're gonna gain weight now we just take that concept and all we do is we count our calories get an app called my fitness pal it's free and it has a database of tens of thousands of foods and if the food you're eating is in a package with a barcode that you can scan you just scan the barcode with your phone camera and you put how many servings of that you ate and it logs it counts up how many calories you've been eating very simple people used to have to do this with pen and paper and write it down but now you have an app on your phone which you use your phone anyway throughout the day anyway now i'm going to go over the pros and cons and then how to actually go about it so you have good progress with it okay now the benefits are that are pretty huge honestly the biggest one that comes to mind is that you could eat whatever you want you can have a bunch of ice cream if you want you can have cereal if you want but as long as you stay under a certain number of calories all right so the other thing that's very important, this is a lesson that's going to stay with you forever, is that it's going to teach you how many calories you're actually supposed to eat and how many you're actually eating. All right, this is huge. You might not realize that the breakfast you're eating is a massive amount of calories until you actually count them. Like you have to Go through this process to see where your excess calories are coming from. It'll make you more aware on so many things. You might not realize that you're snacking throughout the day until you do this. It's going to make you super aware of when you're eating, why you're eating, what's causing the impulsiveness, what are the triggers. You're going to start to notice patterns you never noticed before. And in that list I wrote exercise is not necessary. Because whenever people want to lose weight, the first thing they think is, oh, I got to go to the gym. No, really. The first thing you got to do is control your diet. Control how much you're eating. All right. And that's what's going to help you to lose weight. Everyone should be exercising regularly all the time, whether they're going to lose weight or they're trying to gain weight or whatever. It doesn't matter. That part should just be a constant presence in your life. But the diet part is what you need to get in check, okay? Now let's go over the bad side of counting calories. Let's face it, it could be a little bit stressful to have to count or log everything that goes, goes in your mouth, okay? It's a bit tedious, it could be cumbersome, however, it does get better with time. The first week, it might be annoying as hell, but when you start to see the results and you start to understand how much you're actually eating, this is an important lesson. This outweighs the negatives, okay? And I'm going to be frank with you. The people who don't want to count their calories or just say this doesn't work for me without even trying often have the biggest issues because they're not facing reality. They don't want to face the reality that they're overeating and they just stop doing it okay so you really need to be honest with yourself if you actually want to lose weight you gotta like actually 
want to be aware of where your excess calories are coming from and what it's going to take work to stop it. And honestly, we have the technology that makes it super easy. So enough with the excuses. All right. Now the other drawback is to be very accurate. If you're making food at home, you need a food scale. All right. So that you know, if you're eating six ounces of chicken or 12 ounces of chicken, it's hard to gauge meat if you've never actually weighed the meat that you're cooking. All right. And then the other drawback is if you're eating out or eating out at a friend's place, it's hard to know how many calories are in that food if it's not in the database, right? However, I would always recommend you just round up to be on the safe side. All right. Now, how much of a deficit should you eat at? The general recommendation is that you should eat about 500 calories less than you need per day. Now, if you're a petite woman, 500 calories might be actually too extreme, maybe 300 calories less, something like that, because you don't need as much to begin with. So it's a percentage in terms of percentage. Maybe you should be eating about 20% less per day. If you're eating 500 calories less per day, you're going to lose about one pound of fat a week. All right. So just keep that in mind. It's a nice sustainable, number for most people. Now to ensure that you're on the right path, you want to weigh yourself every week and you want to do it under the same circumstances. So for me personally, I only weigh myself if it's morning time, I just pooped, but I haven't ate anything. If those three conditions exist, only then will I weigh myself because if I weigh myself, in the evening after a big dinner, the weight is going to look very different than all the previous times I've weighed myself. It's not going to be meaningful data. And the other thing is in the app is where you can add the weight and you can also take a photo of yourself at the same time. So I recommend that as well because it's great to have this the before and after photos. Another thing you got to keep in mind is that your weight's not just going to drop off a cliff in the beginning. It's going to drop off fast, but that's going to be mostly water weight. Don't expect an accelerated rate of weight loss in the long term. You're going to plateau a little bit and then sometimes you're going to come back up and then come back down. It's a cycle. Sometimes you have to go two steps forward, one step back, two steps forward, one step back. All right. Just expect that the weight loss is not going to go down in a straight line and you're not going to give up. You're just going to stick to it because this is a numbers game. And that's another thing. You don't have to weigh yourself every day, maybe once a week, maybe twice a week, but you don't need to obsess over it because you're going to lose weight very slowly over time. And it's all about the long run. Now here are some tips to make calorie counting easier. Whenever you're going to eat something, even before you eat it, maybe just log it. Don't say I'll do it later. Okay. Because you're going to forget. It's going to be shocking how easy it is to forget what you've ate. I extremely mind blowing. Actually, these things add up so fast. It's just uncanny. All right. I like to do it whenever I'm heating something up, like if it's in the microwave or on the stove top, I'll just log it while I'm waiting for it to heat up, like before I ate it. Okay. If you're going to have a cheat day, it's really important that you keep logging your food. You have to be honest with yourself. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel ashamed. Okay. Because it's not really important that you're going over your calories on one day. What's important is that you are going to be in a deficit over that week or over that month. It's not really important that you are under your calories every single day. Some days you're going to be over some days you're going to be under as long as the days where you're under are outweighing the ones where you're over, you're on the right path. So don't just stop doing it because you know, you went over that day. Keep at it. All right. That's one of those big things. Like we got to psychologically just be honest with ourselves. Another thing I already said that you should use a food scale, but another cool thing is like, if you have a measuring cup, like learn what one cup 
or two cups is like in your favorite bowls that you use frequently. So that if you just pour something out in your bowl, you know that if it's a certain level, that's about two cups or that's about one cup. So you don't have to like meticulously use a measuring cup. You know that if you pour it in your bowl, you know that's a certain amount. Now, another thing that makes it way easier is if you do intermittent fasting. Like me personally, I don't eat breakfast. So now I don't have to log three meals a day. All of a sudden, I only have to log two meals a day. And then the other thing is limit your snacking. If you're the kind of person who eats a ton of snacks all throughout the day, maybe you should reduce the frequency of how often you're snacking. Because if you do that, then you don't have to log as much as often. Okay. And again, if you are not sure how much food you're actually eating, be on the safe side and round up. And, a and the MyFitnessPal app, if you're logging an exercise, it actually overestimates how many calories you're burning. So round down on that. So that way you'll ensure that you're still on the right path. Now, I want to turn it over to you. I want to read your comments. I want to know what do you think about ca calorie counting? Have you tried this? Have you succeeded? Have you failed? Are you going to try it again? Is this your first time hearing about it? Please let me know what you think and please let me know if you're going to try it, do it. What were your results in the past? I'd love to hear and thanks for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Much success to all of you.